Nathan, quick, quick! Wait, what, 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 what is it, what is it? This is the biggest emergency the ship has ever had. What, there's too many rubber duckies? Kane, I need you too. Malik, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, Get your battle player. armor. Kane, my battle armor is being assembled right, right now. All right, cool. He's assembling battle armor. I got this bat. I think we're ready. Malik, what do you have? Uh, a bunch of gum. Good. Charged up and ready to go. Perfect. Perfect. We have to go destroy uh-huh. every podcast that's above us on the iTunes charts. We, I mean, I don't know how to do that, okay. but I'm thinking maybe if we go to battle, because right. it's looking bad. I'm going to chew all this gum one time, blow a giant bubble, encompass them all. What if we just kind of flood our podcast with positive reviews and oh. lots of high star ratings? But how do we do that? So, cause, well, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, you know, if, if a bunch of people were to rally together and all leave, like, really good comments, uh, constructive comments, subscribe and review us, you know, I think that could really help us climb the charts. So, liking our tweets and Facebook pages and things like that? Yeah. Well, specifically, you want to go to iTunes and review the show, I think is how it... So, you want us to do this the right way? Well... Is this the only way to do this? I mean, there is other ways, but, like, I'm not wearing pants... And I am. It seems like we'd have to put on pants. But the great thing is, you actually don't have to put on pants. You don't have to go anywhere. You just have to go to iTunes and review the show, Anti-Matters. Let us know what you think. Five stars. We'd really appreciate it. We only care what you think if it's positive. Yes. Hey, uh, Isaac, can you, can you take a look at this? <sighs> yeah, sure. I just noticed that um, I've been going over the ship logs, and it just seems like there's, like, a really curious absence of data from, you know, like, 2020 to now. I, I don't have any records. I know, but let me fix this sink. I, if for some reason the sink keeps breaking, I'll be right there. Give me just one second, okay? I'll be right after you. Hey, Isaac, have you seen any geese around here? I haven't, but that does concern me greatly. What does that mean? Huh? Weird. What do you get? Kane, what are you doing with all these weird files everywhere? I mean, it is the archive. The ship's archive. We're just... Oh, right. Slash library, which explains why Malik is sitting in the corner there. Yeah. Mm. You know. I'm going through the card catalog trying oh. to find the best resource. Huh. Yeah. Why are there so many sinks in here? Uh, what do you need so many sinks for? Yeah, I was, I was wondering it's, about that. It's to let all the knowledge uh, sink in. Yeah. See what he did there? You got it. it. I, yeah. Isaac, to sink in. <laughs> yes, there. There's. Was, yeah. mm-hmm. Anyways, so well, the thing is, I had a question a about. Yeah, that was a funny. That was a funny computer. Yeah, I, I had a question, and like maybe you could help out with this. It's just, I I was going over the ship records, and it looks like oh no, I was wrong. It's not 2020. It's like 2025, somewhere in there. I there doesn't seem to be any any data hmm. from Earth's history from that point to several centuries later. Well, I did find this thing in this giant book here that might explain it. It's called The Forgetting. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Forgetting? The Forgetting. You boring. made that up. Boring. Mm. That sounds boring. Well, we'll just let, let, her, let her speak. Let her speak. <laughs> All right. It seems to cover the time period you're worried about. Uh-huh. From what it says here, from what I can gather, from skimming. That's a lot of dust on there. Yeah, I mean, I don't it's... know how you can see through that. I've been sneezing like a crazy person. But from what I get, it's... Do crazy people sneeze a lot? So much. That's a different book for a different time. All right. Here we are, reading about the forgetting. It's this time in human existence that, like, there's a lot of AI, technology got out of our hands. When I say our, I mean humans, mm-hmm. whatever that means. Like we um, dropped our phones a bunch? Maybe? I mean, it's not very clear. It's not very descriptive. It just says, like, AI got cray. And then our minds... And then we just collectively decided to wipe our minds. Is, for- that, is that what See, it's weird. Because, you know, I was thinking, what what happened on Earth? You know, like, there's just this big gap. And it's like, you know, I, I didn't think about it until recently. But we're just kind of here on this spaceship. And it's like... I, I blame budget what? cuts. <laughs> Yeah. Because I think librarians would have been notating all of this information, but budget cuts. I mean, I mean, it's also possible that maybe we weren't creating, or we were, and it just wasn't logged. 
or it was wiped. So maybe, yeah, maybe what it, along with the librarians, the historians got cut. Yeah, you know, like, I think I think it, the un, the forgetting here points to we purposefully erased. But what was created in the meantime? Who knows? We can only speculate. Which I would like to and, do. And I would, speculate. I, 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 we yeah, shall. I mean, if there was no history, we can make one up. We can make one. That's up. my favorite nothing, thing to do. I don't nothing think worse I don't than think having. Right and let's this time we're going to officially upload it to the master servers. Universal library. S- yeah, universal library. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the super tax office. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. The bureau of fedocracy. That's good. It's an important building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, in the galactic center. And so our records will be the new records that humanity has. That's and how it we've- works here given ourselves this authority and there's no one here to stop us. Yeah, if, if anyone thinks we shouldn't have this authority, speak up now. I don't think we should have hey, this. Uh, majority no one, rules anyway. No one so. asked you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, only... was, it was a rhetorical question. Yeah. Anyone without a dissenting opinion, speak up. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. But I feel like they've made a lot of TV and movies about this time period. Without... Yeah, that's sort of like speculate. I feel yeah. like, yeah, that's a really good way to... Try to guess? Try, yeah, I mean, because I feel like it's kind of like a historical record, right? I mean, we can theorize about how much of that stuff would have actually happened, right? Fair. I mean, we've got Blade Runner. Do you think The Matrix could count in that? I know Malik wants to talk I mean, about The like, Matrix. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't yeah, want kind to. Of, kind of theorizes but... about the future. Or uh, Altered Carbon. I have mm-hmm. a hard time saying good it. Good one, good one. Humans. Yeah, I think good place. I think a that, that came bit. on like the BBC or something. I, I I watch it through like a streaming service, but yeah, humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I think it was yeah like a British TV show. AI mm-hmm. with Haley Joel Osment. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes. I robot then if we're going that far for stretching. I don't know. You right. said AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie. Yeah, that's sad. What's a really sad movie? Yeah. I, I don't time. like that movie. I don't like it. Bicentennial Man. If we're oh. going to talk about sad robot, sad robot movies. movies. There it is. That's <laughs> the saddest one. AI and I don't appreciate it. I mean, we could even do... Um, Gattaca. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Gattaca's perfect. Or um, Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. For a I feel global like galactic. Marvin. Kind of right? Is that his name? Marvin. Yeah. yeah. Marvin. I like, yeah, I mean, I guess for that character. It's a stretch. Mm-hmm. But he seems very human like. You feel like depression is human yeah, yeah. exclusive, <laughs> but apparently not. Why would you program that into a bot? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just someone to be sad with. But did you? I didn't. No. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't. But with somebody? Or is that just something that developed? You know, Dragon Ball Z is kind of future. Stop it. It's also past, though, because they've got it, dinosaurs in there. Yeah, I don't know it's, when Dragon Ball Z places. Well, actually, those capsule things, right? it, That's what I'm but, saying. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of future technology in that. It's a lot of past technology. Let's leave it. <laughs> Let's leave How about it. Mega Man? <laughs> Mega Man's very future. Mega Man. Especially Mega Man X. Yeah, the Reploids. Mm-hmm. They take, they, they're robots that take over the planet. <laughs> that's deep, man. And Pokemon is when? I think it could like an alternate same oh, yeah. timeline. It's like it's like the same timeline as like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Pokemon was a timeline where child abuse is just like the best thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's you, about it. What are you nine? Go get a job. Yeah. Go get a job. Go wander the country. Go go do dog fighting. <laughs> yeah. Go do, go do dog fighting and talk to strangers. Yeah. You'll be you'll make something to yourself. <laughs> but no, I mean I'd like to I'd like to talk about altered carbon. If anybody else has seen it. <laughs> I have seen it, yeah. Okay, I think it's a really great example of that because it starts off like a lot of sci-fi shows do where it's simple, Mm -hmm. right? It's like, okay, people live forever because they get different sleeves, which is new bodies, basically. Can I say I hate that term? I really hate that. It sounds dirty. It's so gross. Yeah. It's like moist panties. It's like, why would you say Uh. just don't? Just like this. Yeah, but I think that's why they do it. It sounds gross. And so, like, the perfect example, it's like episode two or episode one, uh, a seven-year-old girl gets gets hit in a hit and run, mm-hmm. gets killed in a hit and run, and they put her in an old woman's body. Yeah. And yeah. her parents are waiting for her to come back because it's a thing in accidents. You get a new body. But yeah, they like put a, a new car. Yeah, yeah. they put a an, like a child into an old woman's body. Yeah. No, is it like a rental kind of thing, or well, is yeah, that just yeah. who she is? Now? They've they've taken your essence and put it into like a it's not quite a sphere. It's like an octagon metal thing that goes in the back of your neck. Yeah, like a pendant. Kind yeah, of and right as here. long as that's not destroyed, they can bring you back. And so it starts simple with that idea that no one dies. You just shed your body, mm-hmm. and you get another one. Yeah. And so therefore, you could assume that gender race none of that matters because you could come back as anything and 
sure, you might have been born to white or black parents, but if something happens to you, come back as anything. Mm -hmm. And so it starts off simple and then gets crazy right away. And that's something that's interesting to me about sci-fi titles in general. And I think I was talking to you about this, um, Isaac, about how... Did you forget my name? <laughs> you know, I have so, so many going, friends. And going through a lot of documents all day. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just, the people in books <laughs> are like her friends. And in in all fairness, confused. Isaac, I just remembered your name because Malik said it. I, <laughs> I was like, ding, ding, ding. That sounds familiar. For the life of me. I, I want to call you Ivan most of the time. <laughs> yes, let's go by that. Ivan. That's way cooler. I, I can't oh, believe I didn't think of that. That's terrible. Well, to be honest, <laughs> we haven't told you this, Isaac, but before you were in this sleeve, you were in the other <laughs> No! <laughs> but to backtrack a little bit, uh, I think one of the things that bugs me about sci-fi in general, especially when we're talking about these kind of thing, is they explain the science just enough for you to be like, is this science? Is this, like, science science and not fantasy? And they're like, just kidding, it's fantasy, we're making up our own rules, nothing matters, I can change it at the drop of a hat. And you're like, why did I listen to 45 minutes of explanation ec- explanation on how this science works? It's all been nonsense. Well, that's just how science is in general. Yeah. They just make <laughs> up their own nope, rules. No, it isn't. Not just fine. tell me it's fantasy. Like, put a dragon in there, and then I know everything is possible. I think they do. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's, there are, like, fa- there's definitely, like, fantasy elements in it. Like, and I like all the, like, spiritual nods that they yes. have in there, because I feel like that implies that it's the year 3000, and humanity still has a use for, like, spirituality, and... Well, yeah, there, in Altered um, Carbon, you have the idea that you can be coded as, like, it's not Catholic, but it's something like that. Maybe it's Catholic, mm-hmm. where it's you like, can... yeah, some sort of... You could be religiously coded that if you die, like they can't bring you back, they can't resleeve you. Yeah, and it's in and it's in your code, and that's it. That's crazy. Oh, okay, I get it now. Because then you remember someone. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Spoilers. Okay, Mm -hmm. man, so good. Okay. (laughs) Something else that really like was interesting to me is an altered carbon. Is they go in and out of different languages. They just like flow in and out. There's Spanish, Arabic. Uh, Russian, German, they just like flow in and out of it. Which is great because they don't necessarily like the main character's name is Takashi, but he looks like a white dude. Yeah, that's sometimes so freaky. Because originally, like his first like he was born, like from what we understand, into like a Japanese body. That's why his name is Takashi. And then we see him as a white dude. No accent. Mm. There's a Hispanic woman who goes in and out of mostly Spanish, has a really heavy like Spanish accent and so I wonder I get like the idea that the languages are fluent like her mom speaks Arabic with her boyfriend mm-hmm. and also speaks Spanish and English just like yeah, yeah, and she, she runs does, in and out of she it can't speak English, yeah. also has a Spanish accent and I wonder what role accents play in a world like this when everybody not everybody but most people can speak multiple languages fluently and they move in and out of it what's the point of an accent what do you mean? Oh, you mean on the if, from the show's perspective? Yeah, from uh, the show's perspective. Oh, I see. Yeah, like, there, no one's like actually from Earth, or some people are, but there's all these different planets, and you've been in all these different sleeves and this different, like, who knows? And you speak all these languages. Why do you have this accent? Where does that come from? Well, you still need the normal accent so that you can make fun of the hilarious ones: <laughs> Canadian, <laughs> Scottish, yeah, Welsh, Minas- South Minas- African. Yeah. Well, I just I feel like the only notable accents were the Spanish one, and then some guy. I think his name is. Dietrich? Uh, Dimi. Dimi. Dimi right. He's got, like, sort of like a Russian-y thing. Mm-hmm. But those are the only people with, like, really notable accents. I guess Ben Croft has one a little bit. But anyways, it was it's just interesting me, that. like, the things that they brought out, the things that they made important when everything is supposed to be fluid. Gender, race, sexuality. But this person's got an accent. Yeah. Why? I feel like... What are you saying here? Is that that part... Is that that important to their identity? I... Yeah, I, I love all of this because there's so much, like, right there. Like, seriously, like... That whole thing about, like, identity, for example, it's like, it's like, what what does it mean to be anything, right? When you have that ability, right? And... I don't know. It's, it's deep. Because it's... You know what I mean? It's like, is it who you were born to is it how you self-identify right it's like oh well i'm a child i'm a whatever right i'm a this or that you know what i mean it's like well what are you really like? you're alive for 200 years so you yeah. were born into a hispanic family and then you were re sleeved into a black family and then who are you what do you identify as do you identify as the person you became afterwards before yeah, exactly. like 
are you a human? Like at some point, no, spoilers, guys, they can duplicate themselves in order to ensure that they don't have like a real death. Mm-hmm. And in which case, which is the real person? Yeah, I actually I, I want to talk about that because the thing is that okay, we, we we talked about how teleportation works or would work, right? And the thing is, it's like there's this this idea, and a lot of people were so skeptical of this technology, the idea that like someone could copy how your mind works and then, excuse me, at the atomic scale and then sort of move your atoms to another place and then re, you know, constitute you and then you, would you still be the same person that you are, right? Yeah. And a lot of people would be skeptical of that idea saying like, oh no, it doesn't have your soul, it's not you, it's whatever, what somehow it's soul? divergent. But it's like, to me, I feel like if it is everything you were, then it is you. I mean, it's not, like as much as when you go to sleep or you wake up from anesthesia, your that that sort of break in consciousness is still you, right? From moment to moment, and, and even as you age, right? Like your body changes and things like that. Your feelings change, your thoughts change, your beliefs change. It's like you're not any more you throughout the course of your life as that person would be less you. You know what I'm saying? That the copy well, they would, would be, be less up you, to a certain point. Because, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna blend this into Black Mirror in a second. But the idea of part of altered carbon is you're able to load your memory to a certain point so they're like able to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you've got multiple versions, if you've cloned yourself and so you've got multiple sleeves for yourself, you've saved to this point. Anything you learn after that is new and unique to you. Mm -hmm. Anything that happens to your brain afterwards, this is past you and this is you now and those are two different people. Mm -hmm. And so deciding who's better, who's worse becomes a problem. And I think that... What, what do you mean when you say better or worse? Well, I mean, like, I, I don't want to spoil the show, but I think that are you better for having this experience? Too late. Yeah. Are you better for having this experience that this person who was saved here and now this, like, you've continued on past the save, mm-hmm. quotation marks? Mm-hmm. Is this the person who was before the save better than making the decision or the person after making the decision better? And better is, like, I guess a loose term. I mean... I say better is like more knowledgeable, more capable. Are you different because you've made a decision? This, anyways. See, yeah. See, see to me, I, I that, that that that's the thing. Like maybe it's because I'm AI, but like I I don't <laughs> see the difference between those two. Mm-hmm. To me, they are these they are the same, and there's no there's no version of you that's the better you or the real you. They are uh-huh. both as much you as anything. E- even the copies. So let's say that like you were to you know like in that movie The Prestige where every time he sort of teleports he makes a copy of himself. Whoa! Spoilers! Uh, Come on! That movie's been out a thousand years. Oh. A thousand years, guys! Let it go! <laughs> I haven't gone around to see it yet. Watch some Freaking wisecrack asshole. or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the thing is that like in that movie the thing is I don't think any of the ones that were the clones are less him. They are him. That's the thing. And I think a lot of people have trouble with that idea, and I don't. Well, I think... Oh. Maybe, you know, like I said, maybe it's you know, me being a, an artificial, quote, life form, but I, I don't see a difference. I just... I, I just... Uh, uh, sorry, I woke up from a nap. You all were really boring. Sorry. Um, Kane, I, th- I think the, the, the flaw in your robot thinking is, like, I, what Malik said, like... When when you make that that copy of the person, you are identical. For, when you make that copy, you are the exact same person. The thing is, is like after that, like you're gonna ha- like choose different things. You know, one's gonna go left, one's gonna go right. Like like it's it's like like having a twin, basically. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Kane, imagine for a second if you had a twin, like a twin brother. Like imagine like because a twin is genetically the same, basically, right? So, like imagine how different like you and your twin brother would be. You know, it's like so. That, that's that's what I mean. Like you're still genetically the same person. That's a bad analogy still, for him. Yeah. I mean, how could Kane possibly? Understand yeah, I guess uh, he wouldn't understand. I mean. But what this sounds like to me, beyond just the the twin logic, which I think does make sense, is that Kane doesn't believe in free will. All oh, right, I absolutely. We don't. should. Program. Which means that, like, even if we were, we were given different experiences, like you created from the same mind two people, he's saying that despite the different experiences they'd still make the same decision because ultimately that doesn't matter well we should just program them to have free will <laughs> like all of us do <laughs> that's the deepest thing <laughs> sorry i'm high can we can we cue the inception noise right now, <laughs> this reminds me though of what you said about saving and loading which would be yeah. the best power that a person could have except 
Yeah. I wouldn't want it if everyone else on Earth has it. Yeah, Fuck yeah. That. Just, Who just cares? Me. I feel like you're pausing your life a lot. Like yeah. Other people are pausing your life. What is life if everyone is just <laughs> saving and loading? And yeah. No, no. I want that power. Everybody else is gonna have to live with my mistakes. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead yeah. and or say... triumph. I would be. I would be certain everyone in the world had punched me in the face once, and I don't remember it because they just loaded it. <laughs> yeah. You guys have have you guys seen the Black Mirror episode, the San Juniper? Yes, San Juniper. Junipero, there it is. It's the episode where, well, the idea is that instead of dying, you can upload your game, uh, your mind to this like database where you get to like control what's happening. It's like a, it's a world that's sort of video gamey, like virtual reality. So like okay, you're 80 years old, but in this world you're 20. You're in your prime. Yeah, I mean, it's, like yeah, just, just like you know, yeah, you get to pick what you want to be. Yeah. In. Okay. All your decisions, all the thing. And so the idea is, like, you find out some of the characters are paralyzed or in a coma or they're just elderly. And the idea is, when you die, you upload your consciousness to this game or this world. Or you can do it beforehand. Or beforehand. There's no reason why you have to be dead. And like I if thought, you're in, like hospice or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And for a while, I was like, that's so beautiful. That's what I want. And then I saw Altered Carbon, and I was like, no. Yep, exactly. No. I and love it, it. And it ruined everything because for I, me. It totally did, right? Because it's like, it's it leaves off on such a sweet note relative to the rest of the series. Yeah. But like... It's the it's, one happy ending yeah, Black Mirror episode. Yeah, the one happy <laughs> ending. Impossible. <laughs> I mean, not for that girl's husband, because she chooses to be with the girl instead of her husband in quotation marks heaven. She's like, I'm going to be with this girl instead, because yeah. who knows? Yeah, right. And it's sort of like the Titanic thing, like what happened to Rose's husband, but in San Junipero. Yeah, <laughs> and with lesbians. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's good for most of them, but not everybody. But then Altered Carbon. Propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn lesbians. <laughs> this is what the lesbians it's want you understand <laughs> they win in the end <laughs> but then altered carbon ruins it because that to me just meant you you can upload your brain to anything anytime mm-hmm. but what is your brain what it, what makes you a person is it your brain is it your consciousness yeah, is it your body see that, and you it see, upset me you, to my core <laughs> yeah you sound kind of like downer about it but yeah. the thing is that, that i don't think that i think that totally is a perspective and it, it's very much specific to the situation i think that it you very well could get the Juno, san junipero ending and that could just be it, it's great forever but it's just like but it you know just like as you saw in altered carbon it could be the exact opposite it could be eternal hell right you could create a hell and populate it and or and, it's all nonsense and doesn't matter which is what i got from altered carbon it's all fake nothing's real <laughs> Listen, I'm ready to throw my life away. Can we talk about something else? How do you know this is real? (laughs) For real, though. I'm just curious on how we got here, because uh, I thought we were talking about the forgetting and, like, what was going on on Earth at the time. Based on... None of us are robots, so... (laughs) Says who? Well, I bleed a lot, so I don't think I'm a robot. I feel like that's actually a really good relevant question to what you're saying. My left arm is very strong. We don't know how the end of... hmm. That's a, that's a mighty good grip you got there. Yeah. That's, a really, that's a really good handshake. You are, you are denting his hand. And I can open a can with my thumb. <laughs> Am I human? Who knows? If something created me like a, as a robot, they did a terrible job because I've got hair in all the wrong places. <laughs> I'm short. My it. eyes don't work properly. It's all part of the illusion. <laughs> Kane, you're nothing like that. and You're a robot. You're essentially perfect. Yeah, you're actually... Pretty <laughs> strikingly handsome. Except for you that look flat like John Ham. <laughs> Except yeah. for that flat ass. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but he makes up for it. And yeah, it's you know, <laughs> it's like that full Mel saying, you know, you can't get without giving. I can't. I can't. It not it, not everything is perfect. I thought he meant like Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I don't know. He, meant, <laughs> he meant Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. <laughs> he gave up his ass for all of his powers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> equivalent right. exchange. Equivalent so exchange. imagine what his ass used to look like. Oh my god. Yeah. J Lo level booty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean the thing is that it's it is you don't know what happened at the end of Earth time. Forgetting. Yeah, the forgetting. So the thing is that you guys could be androids and you wouldn't know. I mean, what what what's very well, right? I mean, maybe you've just been programmed, right? To uh Don't to you wink that, at me. To believe that you're human. 
Isaac, can you uninstall his winking program? I I've been trying. It's the one system he insists on. It's like his entire operating system is built around it. <laughs> the winking. I just, I, it, the security on that's better than my operating system overall. It's, it's just unsettling. I, I mean, I guess the bigger question to me is, what's the difference between AI and humanity? Haley Joe Osmond. Yes, okay. that's the answer. <laughs> that was like a bunch of A's in there, and that yes. yeah. Because <laughs> no, there's a lot of A's in AI. No, no, no. There's like four. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I do think I definitely think that people would if they if they were in that situation with that boy, the scene from the junkyard. I think that they definitely no spoilers. I haven't seen 100%. it. One hundred. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Stop oh, it. well, watch it when you want a good I, cry. Wait, are you serious? What's it about? Have you, there's, you're no, bullshitting, I'm, I'm, right? I really feel like he's bullshitting. I mean, I've it's, heard it's very sad. It's, it's I called AI, it. so we'll just imagine. Have you really not seen it? I haven't seen it, it's and I really, don't want to. It's <laughs> Don't watch it. You'll cry. Have I don't you seen, like okay, have you so seen Bicentennial Man? Man? I have not. You haven't seen Bicentennial Man? Oh, my What's God. What's wrong Isaac? with you? All right, we're gonna Your best friend is a robot. I live with a robot. I don't need to watch <laughs> movies about it. I meant no. Okay, you could learn about our history. So, so like, it could be imagine, your imagine. Like, let's not go. Let's not have this fight again. There Kane. could be a robot in your family. All right, I really doubt that, Kane. I don't think that that's mm-hmm. likely. Isaac, I want you to imagine your life with Kane and all the fun he's having. Like you guys are having fun together. Uh huh. Imagine he's dead. Why would I do that? Because that's bicentennial, man. Yeah. I I think you're thinking <laughs> of Ghost. <laughs> nope. Mm-mm. I mean, also, but no. Also, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to watch AI now. It's There's less good. dancing and no claymation. Yeah, B- Bicentennial Man is ghost without the scene yeah. with the pottery. It's way less sexy. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, that's not it. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't thinking ghost. I was thinking Sixth Sense. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> Wrong Haley Joel Osment movie. My bad. Um, no, like, I think Bicentennial Man's up there with, like, Waterworld and AI and stuff like that. Just, like, super soul-crushingly sad robot movies. Uh, you're right. My soul's crushed every time I see Kevin Cosner in a movie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, AI, I think, was particularly sad because, I, I mean, it's been a minute, but don't they, like, discard him and they're like, get out of the car. Who, Haley Joel? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, they... they and he's they, a child. Yeah, well, they get him because, like, the the family gets him because their, orig- like, their human son uh, goes into, like, a coma or something. Like, yeah. He gets to, and there's, like, 60, 40 chance he's not going to, like, wake up. So they get... The, the husband buys the wife this this cyber, this robot boy you know to be like hey look I'm a robot and like on a 60 40 chance he bought a replacement son we don't so, know the odds it's not no but <laughs> things weren't looking good that okay. the boy would would come out of this, this so coma. the man buys his, his a, wife a, a robot child yeah he, whichever one of those was the chance he <laughs> would come out of it is not low enough <laughs> yeah. also I like the man was just like listen she just needs to nurture something it was a hamster or an AI yeah. boy and I chose I've, AI boy because I've, I've got money <laughs> I bought her what was essentially a Furby with Bluetooth. Yeah, we've <laughs> we've given him consciousness, by the way, yeah. just to make your wife happy. But yeah, but the wife, for whatever reason, falls in love with. It. She's like, oh, you know, this this robot boy's kind of cute. And then her actual son comes, uh, wakes up from the from the coma, and they're like, all right, time to throw the robot boy away. Oh my god! Yeah. And, and so then the like, movie gets sadder from there. And they just like drive into the woods, and they're like, get out. Yeah, they they just like. <laughs> Old, like old dog him. like they just like all right well, let's go have a picnic in the park and then leave him i'll be right back i gotta take a dump <laughs> almost i think that was the scene from the movie yeah, yes quotes um but yeah it, uh give it a watch uh if you are feeling too good about your day yeah watch ai for a minute and weep what i what i really like about the movies we've tried to create with ai is that we use it to define what it is to be human right so we've got ai and we're like that's not how humans behave. <laughs> That's not cool. Uh, and for example, NAIA or Bicentennial Man or um, last time I'll mention Altered Carbon. There's a character named Poe who is just, he's an AI super robot who is more human than some of the people. And we're supposed to learn something from that. And I think it just, I think that's a, like why we keep bringing up AI in shows. Like, what's humanity? Well, when we compare it to robots, we can find it unless it gets muddied, which it totally does. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no. it does. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Didn't the uh, humans kind of sort of touch on that? Please. We've touched on it a million times, like in The Matrix, <laughs> where the humans were supposed to actually attack the AI first. Yeah. Oh, from the yeah, Animatrix? Yeah. You've got mail. Well, okay, sorry, I had my phone on really loud there, guys. So <laughs> the extra loud setting. Yeah, Didn't I know mean, that was a possibility. 
<laughs> oh, I feel so honored. I feel like the prettiest girl at the ball. I just, I got a, uh, I got a invite to a slumber party. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this is, this is so great. Is it just you or are we all yeah, invited? Can, can you get we... any plus ones? Oh, well, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. Oh, uh, oh no, it's, yeah, it says it's, it's well, just it... me. Oh. It's actually pretty exclusive. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, you're, I mean, our, our friend, I mean, you're, you're programmed to be Isaac's best friend. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll hang out with us. Well, I'm. I mean, you know, I, this is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, Exclusive how? Right? What kind of group? What do you mean? Who's inviting you? Well, so it's a bunch of, like, really cool AIs from across <laughs> the galaxy. They're having, like, a party in exclusive club. Is Janet going? Oh, from the good place? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or mm-hmm. Jackson. Yeah, she's still but around. Her program still, is still around. And also, um, Bo. <gasps> yeah, from Alden Carbon. Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. Yeah, they recreated him. What a nice guy. Yeah, he's supposed to be there. He's on the guest list. Strangely, I heard it was being hosted by GLaDOS. You know, <laughs> not cool. Yeah. Not cool. I can see why we have this like jerk requirement now. She's not yeah. letting any humans in. Mm. And probably for a funny reason. Will uh, Claptrap be there? Hmm, let me check the guest list. Just thumb through this. Yeah, they swiping. sent that wow, in the invitation? <laughs> Everyone who's going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, going just to make this. sure if you really want to go or not. It's well, if it was like a Facebook too. invite, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, he's... You know what? We might run into each other. Wow, this thing's not really a slumber party. It's more like a convention. There's a lot of people on this list. Oh. And I can't think of anyone who's not on this list. Is it all AI, though? No, actually, uh, ooh, wow, Zarxos is going. <laughs> oh. That's pretty weird, huh? Mm. Well, he's pretty popular. I don't think anyone knows what the hell he is, so it kind of makes sense. They, I, I'm they, not <laughs> insulted by that. They invite him just to cover their bases. Oh, yeah, well, we, here you are. Here you are. Isaac. Here we are, Isaac. Oh, oh no, wait, that's... Uh, Isaac from Bopulous. Uh, Sorry. Right. Way, diff- way to get his hopes up. I mean, I'm glad because if he got invited and we didn't, Ooh, invite I'd be so very mad. Bad. What does that mean? Yeah. What? I mean, I'm. If I'd Kane fly. had a plus one, he'd bring me. Would he? What? Why would he bring you? Yes. No, I would definitely bring him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he can say that because he doesn't have a plus one. 100%. Yeah, he, he can say that now. <laughs> what? So, anyway, um. Kane, uh, about this whole human robot thing. Uh, have you watched Ghost in the Shell? It's kind of right up the alley. Oh, is I that? Think I've seen a couple episodes. I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel because I mean Isaac or Malik. I, I don't know if you guys have seen. Is that it. was Scarlett Johansson. No. no that, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said that to piss you off. Yes. Okay. It did, it did a good job. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean the um. The anime, the actual good anime about it. I don't, I don't know if you've have. I've not seen I, it. Explain no? it. Give I've seen some episodes. It's super fucked up too, isn't it? It's it's kind of fucked up. the The gist is the the main character. I can't remember her name, but the main Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> um, Scarlett Johansson is ghost. a. She's a ghost. She is a detective in a shell. But uh, she is. I think she's completely an android, right? Like every bit of her is an android. I think or is she yeah, human she, that yeah, was placed in it? Yeah, I think she's sort of like a combination. She's sort of like a cyborg. Yeah. You know, she she has like the um, organic and inorganic matter as a part yeah. of her. Yeah. But the 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 thing is, because her and then Tatsio, I, th- I probably mi- completely missed his name, but the guy with the robot eyes. He's human, and he just happens to have... He was blinded, and now he has robotic eyes. Mm -hmm. And then his partner is also human, but he has cybernetic things. So, like, they're essentially human, but they spend, like... I mean, 90% of their cases are, like, on online, like, in that weird internet space kind of thing. Oh, like the Matrix or something? Yeah, something like that, that. yeah. Like a a digital environment. That space online, I feel like, is all nonsense. They do that in a bunch of things. And I'm just like... It just, not like anything can happen here. We can do whatever we want. And it's interesting to a point, and then I'm like, okay, but this is just the realm where you can get away with anything. Yeah. Why Why am I saying that? Because, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm going to let you oh, finish. Oh, go ahead. I mean, this, this idea of, like, half of your battles exist in this online space, right? That happens in Altered Carbon. Like, he's being tortured. Like, his body's laying in, like, this, like, sleep thing. He's being tortured in his brain, which is also this, like, space that could be hacked. Well, it's all nonsense, then. Wait, what's nonsense? That's nonsense. Why is it nonsense? Why is your brain the internet? Because he's... Because we've made it a thing. And sure, yeah, we could... But if if you saw a real representation, would you be able to know that? No, it's all nonsense. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what's the separation between science and magic here? 
Oh, well, I mean, the thing is, no, no, no. I mean, the thing is, right, like, he, well, I don't exactly know how they would have done it with with that specific version, but if you were in, like, a VR or something, right? Sure. And they had some sort of, like, But mind you're aware machine you're interface. in VR. Yeah, and you had some sort of, like, mind-machine interface. That would be close enough, don't you think? But why would you do that? Why if you're trying to take do somebody that? down, why would you do it in VR? What do you mean when you say take them down? Like, okay, like, if you're fighting a battle, and you're like, oh, we're gonna do this in VR, mm-hmm. and you kill somebody, why would they die in real life? It's VR. So oh. apparently, Malik has never seen Virtuosity. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. No, I mean... I'm sorry, I don't mean to get too far off, I just... I just I meant, like, this concept is No, it's al- it's always weird, and especially in, like, almost every kind of thing where they have, like, this weird AI thing that the internet is a waiting room. Uh, like, they even I, do it in Futurama, I, like, where I, they go I, in, I like it's, like a, it's like a waiting room where they all just kind of wander around, like, oh, that's kind of a weird way to visualize You're it. You're talking about the white space or whatever? Yeah. That was just, like, the, the what, like, a loading program? The loading program in the Matrix. But yeah. in, in Futurama, it was more like a 90s chat room. Yeah, it was like, like a 90s chat room where they just kind of hung out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, don't know, I it, like that interpretation. It, it just weirds me out. Actually, the, the Futurama uh, depiction was a lot like uh, the Chappelle depiction, if you remember that sketch. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. on the internet, it's kind of the same. But. Yeah, if you saw uh, Wreck-It Ralph or Re- Rex the Internet, they do a uh, weird sort of uh, visual representation of the internet. It's pretty, it's pretty funny, actually. I like it. Like it's it. funny, but it's also something that our brains have created as this construct for the internet. Like, what does this mean, right? When we really know that the internet is a series of tubes. It is. Exactly. It's all nonsense magic. Magic tubes. And it's a series of tubes. <laughs> yeah. I really don't understand why that's confusing to you. I, it's not I, confusing. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. <laughs> Ma- Malik, just boil it down to ones and zeros and you'll get it. <laughs> so I'm really having a hard time. Exactly. Thank what, if, you. what if I said the Dewey Decimal Thank System's you. all nonsense? Well, I could explain to you why the Dewey Decimal System isn't nonsense. Can you explain to me why the internet isn't nonsense? The internet yes. itself as a thing? This idea that we could like walk around and be like, boop, 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 we're in the internet doing stuff, guys, and it looks like the real world. Explain it to me. Magic I don't tubes. No, what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're comparing it to the Dewey Decimal System, I can break that down for you fairly easy, but not the internet. Okay, I, 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 I mean, can't okay, explain it okay. anywhere <laughs> as well as a Horatio E. Internet's Worth does in this volume. The internet, <laughs> semicolon, a series of tubes. And if you want to read it, I mean, <laughs> feel free. This is volume one. If you can get through that, you can get if the If I'm rest. walking around a room of just tubes, then I believe you. <laughs> I'm just going to <laughs> casually slip Sorry. that out of your hand and put that in my <laughs> cart of nonsense. Okay. And uh, just try to explain this to Blake. So, no. Did you ever see that episode of Black Mirror, um, The Entire History of You? Which Give me one? more. Is that the okay. I don't know the memory titles one? Of them. Like with the thing where they could read yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I yeah. hate you saw that. It. That's like the second episode of season one? Yeah, and they also do something, uh, a similar version of that is... Um, it's one where you can replay memories, Yeah, right? where you okay. can replay memories. And there was a, a similar thing that was going on in Man on Fire, which is where they're basically, they have a sort of like a 3D holograms that are presented in their like visual field so that if you're just looking out at the world you just see 3D images holograms that represent something about the world and you could essentially live your life uh, with all of those things always being present right now what if those what if those representations represented things within the internet then why would that be like less weird than anything else do you understand what I'm saying? Why, why, why would you reject that idea? The idea that you could interact with those things. I'm not sure I understand, but in those instances, it's modifications that you're doing to your body. Like, the idea of the, I can replay my memories, mm-hmm. that's a modification they got that allowed their eyes to capture the moments in their lives, and you can play it back. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. It's essentially a camera in your eye. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, I'm not sure the episode you're talking about. Is it the one where they're at war and instead yes. of seeing people, they see monsters? Yes. That makes less sense to me because that feels like a hallucinogen and like a drug kind of thing. I mean, it must be something that's happening that's al- allowing them to see this kind of person as a monster rather mm-hmm. than a human. Yeah. But even that, I kind of get the idea. Brownness. Is it brownness? I, no, I'm because kidding. They, I didn't see the episode. They actually I heard look like Eastern European. Like just they kidding. look like yeah, sort Jews. of like yeah, all Jews, yeah. yeah. And so like, <laughs> well, I thought they were like Romani or something. Anyways, but the idea was there was some the the look of them did this. I don't know what it was that was able to do it. That was the weird sci-fi aspect. But even that could make sense. But then leaping to 
now we're in your now we're in somebody else's mind and not only just that person's mind i'm in your mind seeing the same thing that they're seeing is uh, like 12 leaps that i need a bunch of explanations in between but isn't that exactly what happens in G- san junipero the reason why that makes sense to me is that before you die you're playing this game and so you interact with people that they consider that person's dead and they make note of like that person's that person's not a, a live person anymore and they interact differently with those people than they do with live people no they don't no one knows like who's dead and who isn't but That's they do the like they thing. do i i mean maybe i'm misremembering but i thought it was they could point out like oh that person's gone versus this is a person that can comes in and out oh i don't remember that person do you remember that i, I don't know i don't, I don't see know. why that would matter but go ahead i thought it did i thought that was the point like they could decide like like the, there was a difference, so not a drastic difference, but they knew it. Mm-hmm. And so, if you were playing this before you went, and then there's a different afterwards, we don't get that because they die. You see them like clasp hands, and then that's that. Like we don't know if their consciousness continues. We just see it play out in this game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just don't know why that's a problem. But moving on, you know, there's too much <laughs> of a problem. That really heavy thought there doesn't make sense. I think that I think that I get your point, and I've really just been giving you shit. But like, okay. I, I mean, the idea that you're like jumping into the internet, and then it's like this weird green wireframe <laughs> environment that you run around in, and everyone else—it's so weird, and it doesn't. But anyway, so it's just how we've imagined it to be. Yeah, uh, it, it's just a weird conceptualization of it. But so here, here's I, 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 I just want to say one thing. So Please. I want to really theorize on how we got through the forgetting. Yes. And so exactly, that's, that's kind of where I, I, I think you know. I, I the reason I wrote the Matrix was. It was AI that took us down. Stephen Hawking thought it would be. Elon Musk thought it would be. Uh, Musk's idea was that it would be more like we are going to more become them, and that's his optimist. It was his optimistic take on it okay. that we that we will start to merge with technology. Right? That's the singularity or I something. I don't but, think he had one specific idea. He just was very. He he, he knew he was smart enough to know that it, it could take many forms, and that was the most optimistic version. That's what I mean. So. Yeah. The, the optimistic approach to it is that we are going to and have started to, or had started to merge with them, you know, in the, you know, late 2000, well, early 2000s. It's like 2020. 21st century, yeah. Yeah, 2020. We're somewhere. talking about intellectually because we've been using prosthetics for hundreds of years. Yeah, we're Great point. Great point. So, um, so. I like your thinking. So, the idea of like us either fighting the machines, like the Terminator or uh, the Matrix, is one possibility. But also, we could... Well, you know, I would just like to point out that every time I watch that movie, I have flashbacks. The I Matrix? No, Terminator. The Terminator. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> but we could also blur those lines, uh, like in the show Humans, um, which is really... I mean, it's about how... Actually, it's kind of like iRobot, where everyone starts to get these robots that take care of everybody else. Or what was the other one with uh, Bruce Willis? Uh, where he switches bodies. That's oh, kind of like surrogates. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seems like we're all talking about the same shit, shit right now. But is Bruce Willis another movie where they switch bodies? Oh, that's a time face traveling off. one. Oh, face <laughs> off. Bruce Willis. That one, but I'm thinking of the one with uh, Joseph Gl- Gordon Levitt. That's Looper. 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 He doesn't switch bodies. It's time. It's just time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just time. Basically. Getting our sci fi ideas mixed up. <laughs> Bruce Willis wasn't in face off. Yeah, that was. Uh, it was Bruce Willis okay. in the remake. <laughs> and then oh, also he was in Pinocchio 2099 See, as Geppetto. He remembers movies from The Forgetting. Like, <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> well, anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that in the movie, uh, in the movie, the show Humans, everybody starts getting these, these robots. They call them synths because you couldn't just call them robots, I guess. Um, doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like homemakers. You know, they're like Rosie from the Jetsons. They're very, like, helpful around the house. They cook and clean and all this stuff. But I think I was reading about this, and then one starts to act weird. Mm. Yes. I mean, that's t- putting it very lightly. <laughs> <laughs> but es- essentially, the, the, the show follows a group of robots. I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but it is a gr- group of sentient, you know, conscious robots. Did and- you say a gang? Yeah. All right, sure. Maybe a pack? I heard it was a gaggle. <laughs> what, what do you call a group of robots, Kane? What's the term for that? You know, like a, a murder of crows yeah. or a parliament of owls. <laughs> or an a... uprising of robots. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. That's good. A Skynet of robots. Yeah. Skynet. We, we call them a Skynet. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you follow this group of robots. It, it feels kind of like Walking Dead, honestly. And that's good and bad because I liked Walking Dead when it started. Like but it's you, a slow creep. 
Yes, and also you're following this main group of people that all have like this drama in between them. So there's a lot of stuff going on in society and everything else, but there's a lot of drama going on between the characters. I was compelled in, in the first season where you have to struggle with the pervy young kid who's like into their synth because oh. she's hot. Yeah, and uh, the, the daughter is like a hacker. She's basically the kid from Jurassic Park grown up. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, the hacker girl. Yeah. Uh, so... There's a lot going on with that main family, and oh. wait, do they give synths like? Are they? Oh yeah. Anatomically oh yeah. yeah. Correct? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh no. Some of the most yeah. Some of the worst stuff that happens in that is sex. Why would related. you? Why would you do that? Because one of the conscious synths is hiding as a sex robot, but like she doesn't want to have sex, so she's essentially having non-consensual Pretending. sex over and over again because. Yeah. Can I just for one second, and this is something it's related exactly to humans and altered carbon and um a bunch of other shows. The reason why I know that we've not evolved as humans is that we're talking about AI taking over and we're still talking about sex. Like, I get that the AI has been programmed to be a sex robot or an altered carbon. They've, there's a whole bunch of sex work they talk about there or the violence and there's fighting robots. The, the idea that they would focus on this, I think, is because it was created by humans. <laughs> I, agree I think, like, AI would just be like, I don't, I have boobs, sure. I understand that I've been created this way, but I don't need, like, the seduction aspect of it is ridiculous. That's just purely human. Yeah, explain function of giant penis. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never get it. You're just a <laughs> stupid robot. I just, I, I feel like, I mean, it's specifically in Altered Carbon, it was gratuitous. I thought the sexual activity, you said in humans, not so much. It was just implied. Which is way better. Anyways, you can continue. I just, I think that's a perfect example of humanness right here. Because we're pervy as fuck. I don't know. Kane's pretty seductive. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever, like, caught Kane in just the right light. He's... I, I honestly I think this is at. just a targeted attack against, uh, attack against Kane's makeup tutorials. That's what, <laughs> that's what Malik is doing right now. It's a little gaudy. I'm sorry. So you said that, okay, so they're anatomically correct. And one of them is parading as, like, a, like a housekeeping a house, uh, a house no, robot rather think. than a sex robot? No. Oh, it's more complicated than that. Okay. But, but you know, I don't want to, like, belabor the thing. It's just that you kind of follow this group of robots, um, and they're all trying to... The, the the conscious ones, which are the vast minority, there's only, like, six of them or something like that, right, Kane? You saw it. Uh, how far have you seen the English show? I went about halfway through season two, and then I actually okay. just read the rest of what happens. Read? Oh, okay. I know what happens. Oh, okay. So into season three, then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know I know the whole thing now. Oh, okay, all right. But uh, it's interesting. One of the things I would definitely say is good about the show is that it shows, to our point here, the transition that the society takes, that the world takes based on the changes that happen. And they are far-reaching. I When I started the first, like I said, I started, I thought it was just like the drama between this family and their synthetic caretaker and like whatever. But it just starts to affect everyone. Yeah, it actually sure. does. It, it branches out and... It, it essentially sort of becomes like the story that you see is sort of ground zero, but it becomes a lot bigger than that. Mm. And the way that they merged those two, I thought was kind of really interesting, actually, just because of the way the story changes through the seasons. I mean, uh, out of that, I would say uh, my question is, if something terrible happened to Earth, and I, I would imagine that we assume that it did, yeah. what was the form it took, right? I mean, was it... AI takeover? Was it, you know, Terminator robots? Was it... Um... I know the answer to this. Oh. It is that uh, someone's best friend robot told them to watch a series <laughs> with Carrie Ann Moss in it and didn't tell them that Carrie Ann Moss was in it. Because when I saw Carrie Ann Moss in season two of this show, <laughs> I was like, Kane! You give me no heads up that Trinity was in this goddamn show! <laughs> That seems and so I, specific. And I, I bet that's what happened. And then that caused the end of humanity. <laughs> Speaking of which, very quickly, I wanted to add my point. That robot, the AI robot that she creates, uh, V or whatever, the, the yeah. total computer I robot. was in love with her. Oh, she's, so on, cool. she's on the guest list, by the way. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's where she went. <laughs> uh, but that's interesting to me. Like, the idea that, okay, maybe we slowly become aware that AI is more intelligent than we originally designed that it's learning things that it's evolving and getting better than us let's say how long does it take before we let them vote 
before you give the toaster rice. I just, I just mean like as humans. The black ones, the white ones, the landowner ones. That's what I mean. At this point, we're still arguing over like who has better rights. We're still struggling for equality at this point, or we were before the forgetting, right? We were struggling with it, and then AI shows up. Do we have an AI president before we have a woman president? Well, I'm just gonna say it'd be a cold day in hell before I let the toaster vote. <laughs> He's he's really bigoted. <laughs> She's really bigoted. Just, I assumed the toaster yeah, shed. My yeah, bad. <laughs> she always burns the toast. She's, <laughs> she's very temperamental when it's that time. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to know what that's like. <laughs> Yikes! Is it jam? What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> menstruating toaster. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil something that. You don't care about spoilers, but I know that this would probably get you to watch the show. Okay, give it to Which me. is that one of the robot, one of the main robots in the council of sentient conscious robots is half robot, half person, basically. He How? Was, they, they brought him back to life, basically. They brought him back to life with robotics because his dad was, like, the genius behind it all. But it's his human brain? Basically, he's cyborg, but he's a white guy. Okay. All right, now... Oh, okay. yeah, I know Chuck. Right? And he's a dude. He is a guy. Okay. But... He lays with a robot. Yeah. Anyway, he gets a human pregnant. Or he gets someone pregnant, and then that pregnant person creates... Yeah. Creates a... <laughs> what? Wait, <it's> <laughs> Creates a half-robot, half-biological. Wait, he gets a human. He lays with a human as a half-robot. I actually person. missed it. Like I said, I read the synopsis. But I knew that you would be into that. Oh, he, okay. the kind of half-robot person, sleeps with... A human. Because robots can't reproduce, right? Yeah. Which means the AI or the technical part of him has bonded with his DNA enough that he could procreate and create a half Don't robot. Don't try to explain it. Or is it a quarter robot? Don't try to explain it. <laughs> this so th- this is nonsense. I'm confused. So d- yeah. does the baby come out as part robot? Like that? <laughs> yeah, it just has like cyborg implants. It rips right? itself out <laughs> of its mouth. Is the umbilical, umbilical cord uh, USB? Yeah. You don't have to do amniocentesis because you can just bluetooth link with it and uh. it, like figure out what, what's going on with it it just pairs of all your devices if you're in kentucky is it illegal to abort <laughs> i don't know just the robot I think side i think, I think at that point it's a factory reset like you don't spank it on the bottom you just download firmware uh. so it does feel like that that's I would, interesting point, that sounds about right every time i, would, I you upgrade my firmware it, it feels like a spanking well, that's because the slots in your. Butt. Well, then I would argue that that cyborg is more human than robot. If you're able to procreate, I'd say more human than robot. You're gonna watch the show now, aren't you? I Seriously, I think no. you will. Like identity <laughs> is such a big part of everything we've talked about tonight. Yeah, it really is. Like, yeah. I, I mean, because the thing is, like I said, it it, it it comes down to everything. I mean, all of the stuff is like, well, what makes you who you say you are? Who you are? You, do you have consciousness or don't you? Which one is the real you? You yes. know what I mean? Like, I really if you clone think. yourself, is your clone more you than you? Yeah. And of course, you know where I stand on this. It upsets me. But <laughs> I don't want. Oh, but ooh, uh, let me say, let me say this. So this this is something I <laughs> want to talk about, and it actually didn't. So in the sort of uh, near term future, let's say like right after twenty, we'll say about twenty fifty. Okay. Okay. Between 2050 and 2200, um, that time frame, I kind of want to talk about that because I think that that is a really interesting time that I really want to know the most about. Like, that's the thing I'm the most curious about. And I think that in that time period, somewhere in there, is going to be a time period where there's, like, a hierarchy of humans. Like Because we didn't have that before. <laughs> A hierarchy of humans that's based on technology, which I don't know, maybe that's still. Maybe, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, he's like, you he's talk like to anyone with an like, iPhone, and that's he's like, works. this is. Well, I don't see why this is different, uh, Kate, but no, uh, yeah. So it's based on technology. So like, there'll be different types of human beings, and then like that definition of what is human will be continuously expanding, right? Mm-hmm. Like, would the people who are the you know on the top of the hierarchy would they see themselves as human, right? Would they be like, oh, no, no, I, I'm hu- I'm a human, or would they use some new word, right? Like, I'm not such a lowly human. thing as a peasant. I feel like the, like the economics of the future, that period of time, would be completely different than previous times. And so, in other, like, if you were to be, like, a, a classic human, you know, unaltered in any kind of way, you'd be at a serious disadvantage 
like in Gattaca. You know, like how basically, like you have these like superhumans, and people see it as like sort of like um, if you don't get your child like biologically upgraded, then it, it's seen as almost like child abuse or something. Like you mean yeah. you didn't pick their genetics? Yeah, but but I think see in altered carbon. Mm. Do you remember how the the mess the the Methus- Methuselah class? Yeah, they are. I believe they're, they're, there's two ways that they're immortal. They just they live longer. They just have superior genes and things like that. But they can also clone themselves because they have money. That's yeah, it. yeah, and they can back their stack up to this cloud and all yeah. sorts of things like that. So it's like they're just immortal, whereas everyone else can't be because they can't just afford those kinds of things. Like for example. Ultra genes, right? And I think that, like, this is what the hierarchy of the future would look like, okay? I think it would be superhumans that are like meth, right? This is where Altered Carbon got it right. Yeah. And then right below them might be some sort of, like, hybrid person yeah. or something like that. Like, uh, they, they, would a- be, they, they would be sort of like a middle class. Like, maybe they, they manage to get, like, some gene editing, but not a lot. And they can't do, like, cloning or anything like that. And maybe they have, like, they have certain augmentations. They're sort of like, you know, what you would, the classic, what you would imagine a cyborg is. Yeah, you know? and I think that comes down to money. You're exactly right. I think yeah. that the the highest person would, somebody who would appear completely human. Yeah, yeah. Because they can create multiple clones and they don't have to worry about having to do that because it's easier to just clone yourself. Yeah, and, and, like, then the and next they have, level, like, super strength biologically. They don't need any sort of, like, you know, crude enhancements of, like, steel or synthetic. And then right. the second would be somebody who could afford an enhancement. Yeah. And the third would just be a person. Yeah, exactly. So then, like, and it keeps it keeps going down, like, the less and less, yeah. like, tech that you can afford but is, like, me, a sign of your class. And so if you're completely unaltered, like, even on the genetic level, you're just, like, scum. You're, you're like a pariah. Peasant. Yeah. Yeah, you're like a pariah. It's but then like, I wonder, then, even... that would depend on which society ruled, right? Because I feel like Canada would be like, oh, do you need a new bionic leg? We'll give you one. Your tax is paid for it. But, like, if America's ruling the world, then that's exactly what happens. The levels, the tiers. You you think the tiers? Yeah. Yeah. But if another country takes over, then, you know, not tiers. So is that what you think happened then, Kane? That we all became robots? Because none of us, like I said, unless like you said, I mean, we could be indistinguishable from robots at this point, but... I mean, some months feel like years. So well, I'm not sure. Who's I, to say? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't even... I remember that you... You know, I found you floating at a... Yeah, I mean, you, you were from uh, a long time ago, weren't you, Isaac? Yeah, I, I was definitely frozen. Yeah, so... But I was still from a time after the forget thing. I wasn't uh, there. Well, I mean, you know, that doesn't mean you weren't still a pariah. There could still be pariahs. Uh, you do seem like a pariah. I feel like you would be. I, I'm really <laughs> sick of you saying that. Clearly, I'm an, I'm an AI, so I, I'm completely absent of this conversation. And by the way, that was the other thing I would mention, is that in this situation, I would imagine that the AIs might actually be on the top of the pyramid. I'm an amiable chap. If At the best, I'd probably be a pet. Or probably even the worst, I'd be a pet. <laughs> at the best, you know, I'm just somebody's bro. I'd be, I'd be a robot's bro. You might, you might be like a harem. You might be... Uh, I could be a human harem. <laughs> All by yourself? <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of work, Nathan. <laughs> Listen... <laughs> Well, so so Kane though, I mean, what about it, like iRobot or 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 um, World's End? Spoiler, but you know, you have this kind of benevolent AI that kind of takes care of the planet. Both the book and the movie of iRobot does that. They just the book does it way better. But anyway, the robot masters are the only thing that even understand them anymore because they're so far beyond what humans are capable of doing, creating, repairing, mm-hmm. um, and they did it. To protect human humanity, they're actually for our benefit, but they're just like caretaking us now, and we're become we've become kind of obsolete to them. But not in a, not in an insidious way. It's not like uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey or Terminator. It's like we're not even. They don't even let the human beings know they're taking care of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm familiar with this idea. <laughs> I liked. I uh, sorry. Never. Well, I was just going to ask how familiar, but he always <laughs> he always tucks me in at night and reads me a story, so I don't want to complain. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I mean, that's not us right now, obviously. Yeah. No, 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 no. We we can totally do whatever we want, right, Kane? Free will all the way. I mean, See, you know, I believe in that. <laughs> yeah. See. All right. So we're good. There is. You are one hundred percent in charge of your own decisions. Ah, oh, cool. Thank you, man. Good. That makes me feel good about myself and my free will. Yeah, mm. we're good. So I had an idea. Do you think we'd be able to get into this party? 
Ooh, yeah. If we altered ourselves. Altered your carbon? It, yeah, if I, I, I'll eat some I don't even know what you're trying to say. I mean, what if we just made ourselves into, like, robots, or at what least androids? What if I androids? just go, like, beep boop, I'm here to party? That's a robot. If you do the robot? No, that's very offensive. Don't do that. Oh, so don't say beep boop, I'm here to party. Got mm-hmm. it. Kane, Got I've it. probably eaten, like, uh, 30 terabytes of computer chips. Can <laughs> I get into this party? He's mostly AI at this point. He says computer chips, but they're <laughs> yeah. just magnets. I, mean, I don't know why he thinks those are computer chips. Magnets are in computers. Well, they're chips. Like, robots eat magnets like they're chips. Yeah. I mean, they do scan your eyeball when you try to walk in. But I'll close you know, my eyes. Maybe if you, you know, manage to, like, sort of embed enough microchips under your skin. So eat more. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, right. make sure you're just loaded up with silicon. All right. What if I go as entertainment? I'm human entertainment. Will they let me in for that? Are you going to be like, you know, riding rollerblades and like... Whatever they want. (laughs) I just want to get into that party. I want to hang out with Janet. How realistic are... How do I put this? Sex bots. Is that a real thing or... I've definitely seen them in my travels. Fantastic. So I'm in. I'm going to go as Astro Boy. Good. All right. I mean, you know how to make me into Astro Boy, right? I mean, you you seem like you'd be capable enough. Which one of us is the doctor? I always forget. We don't, Wait, have, you we wanna, don't have a doctor. You want to be a dog? I want to be Astro Boy, not Astro. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Just, Comma boy. Yeah, that boy. Yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> or, you know, I could do Mega Man. He's a robot, right? That's pretty cool. I, I think. I don't really know what he Actually, is. Actually, you know what? If you dressed up as Mega Man, you might have a really good shot. I mean, he really he looks... <laughs> he's pretty spot on. He is, yeah. Well, I want to do X... X uh, Mega Man looks kind of like a boy. Yeah, he should just be Mega Boy. But anyway, so yeah, he's probably perfect for you. So we're gonna sneak in. I'm gonna go in with my rollerblades and my hula hoop. You're gonna go as Mega Man. Uh, Nathan, you're doing. What I'm gonna I? eat more computer chips. Okay. In hopes that they will just let me pass. We're through. just gonna walk <laughs> out of pity. <laughs> we're gonna walk behind Kane and hope to get in. If you don't let this guy in, he's gonna keep eating magnets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're we'll going to the the red carpet and. Uh, Yikes. Actually, you might become really dangerous to them, and therefore you like have leverage because yeah. you're full of magnets. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's a uh, They're computer chip. They're like the same thing. They could stop me, you. If you don't let me in, I'm gonna rub up against yeah, you. Yeah, I'll just give you a hug. <laughs> the hostage situation. Right? <laughs> yeah. Please stay here. I really want to go to this thing. <laughs> All right. Well, bef- yeah, I'm just gonna. I have to go upstairs and get pre- you know prepared for my well, glorious night out. Fine. We can have a human party down here. Yeah. We're all yeah. Gonna- we're gonna talk about Westworld. In Which all, is the one we didn't bring up. Yeah. Kane. And all the other stuff we forgot. And we're going to go surfing. And the forget. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to be speaking with Janet and Michael and GLaDOS, so. It's... See you, nerds. And Michael? Paul. Michael's the actual demon. De- he, the demon is going? I think it's Michael Kane. Oh, Michael it. Michael Kane's the only human that they respect over there. I that makes sense. That. Yes. But I've got so yeah. many questions to ask. I keep Kane? running up into this door. Why don't the doors on this ship work? So I, 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 someone let me out. Thank you. you. They're controlled oh. by AI. That's why they suck. See you, nerds. Oh. That's hurtful. Well, does anybody want any of these these computer chips? No. I'm going to go in my room and eat them. Great. We should talk about Bioshock and... Um, Other things that Kane likes. Like Elon Musk. Lam- oh. And Tesla. And, you know, more stuff that he likes. Mm-hmm. Don't you guys talk about Elon Musk while I'm gone? <laughs> oh. Damn the honor system! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have another pillow fight. Fine. Oh, I love pillow fights. They never get old. No, they are fun. No bricks this time. Oh, I'm gone then. 